to another exciting episode of Pocket Pets Wyoming. I am your host, Sunny, the Eratinga Solstitialis. Today we bring you a long-awaited video. We recently added an Argentine black and white tegu to our family. His scientific name is the Tupananus marinae, if I pronounced that right. Anyway, we are going to show you his unboxing video. He came to us from Homestead, Florida. In Homestead, the tegu is an invasive species. That means that they don't want them there. So in order to rescue Kronos, we adopted him through a special program called Tegus Only. So without further ado, I'm going to show you Kronos unboxing. So let me tell you a little more about Kronos. Kronos came to us in the mail. My owner was very careful when opening the box because she wasn't sure if Kronos had survived the trip and she didn't want to hurt him with those sharp scissors. I'll tell you a little more about Argentine black and white tegus while she's opening up the box. Black and white tegus start out small but quite rapidly grow large. Females usually reach around four feet, and males can reach up to five, even six feet. The Argentine black and white tegu has beaded type skin and a distinctive pattern of white and black dots and stripes. There are two lines of yellow dots running down its back and its neck to the beginning of its tail. Young Argentine tegus are green with black markings and the green eventually fades to white over the first few months of life. Argentine black and white tegus can live for 15 years in captivity. The owner operator of tegus only is named Rodney. He helped us pick out just the right tegu for our family. We decided on a juvenile tegu, somewhere between one and two years old. My owner finally got the box open, and inside we found lots of pine shavings. This helps so that the tegu doesn't bounce around inside the box during the trip. Then she slowly pulled out the bag. The bag helps the tegu have a softer ride and it keeps all the pine shavings off of him. At this point, my owner was very nervous because she didn't see any movement and the bag was very cold to the touch. We were pretty worried that Kronos didn't make it. worry that the bag was tied shut. The cheesecloth-like fabric let air pass in and out of the bag very easily. She finally got the bag open and peered inside. We were so relieved to see that the tegu was alive and breathing. He was just a little on the cold side from the trip. He came to us from Florida, which is a lot warmer than it is here. Coming to Wyoming was a little bit of a shock. We should probably get him out of there. Ta-da! Our new family member. He was pretty chilly, so my owner held him on her lap for a while to warm him up slowly, and he was so happy to be out of that box. It didn't take Kronos very long at all to settle in with the family. Everyone fell in love with him immediately. His favorite things to do are eat, sleep, and get cuddled. Did I mention sleep? Here he is during one of his most favorite times of the day. 
snuggle time. Even the dogs are jealous. Well, when they are young, Argentine black and white tegus will be fairly docile as adults, except when they are eating, which they do voraciously. They appear to enjoy interacting with humans. The younger your tegu is when you start handling it, the more it will bond with you and the better it will respond to regular handling. Argentine black and white tegu should be kept in an enclosure not less than 6 feet by 2 feet for one male. One female enclosure can be slightly smaller. Because Argentine black and white tegus are very active, their habitats need to be as large as possible. You may even want to consider a closet or a room-sized enclosure. And you will definitely have to build your own habitat rather than purchase one. The enclosure should be secure and well ventilated. If you live in a climate that is comparable to their natural environment, you can house them outdoors once they are fully grown. But because we live in Wyoming, Kronos will have to live inside with us. He can be let out during the summer. When it's nice and warm. Well, thanks so much for watching another episode of Pocket Pets Wyoming.